the road is going to get rough. The going is going to get tough. And the hills, they are so hard to climb. Like the sister said, as soon as it was time to go to church, the devil just started jumping all over her husband. got to rebuke him. Song said, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. He's here tonight claiming the victory because he made a choice that I would rather be in church than sitting at home. Amen. There's no doubt. There's no doubt that I made the right choice. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, with a heart full of praise and thanks for all that you have done, doing plans to do. We thank you, Father, for the songs of Zion, the testimonies. We thank you for those that have pressed their way out and for the willingness of mind to be subject to your every command. Father, we decided to make Jesus our choice. And the road has been rough. The going has been tough. The hills have been hard to climb. I started out though, and I've made up my mind that I'm going to go all the way. Because in thee we live, we move, we have our state of being, and we can do all things through Christ. So, Father, we thank you. Bless us now as we prepare to feast from the table that never is empty of good things. The unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ, dear Lord, which is able to save our souls. We pray, Father, that you will open the windows of heaven and pour us out the blessing, and we thank you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we do ask and we do thank thee both now and forevermore. Together can we all say, amen. amen. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To the ministers of the gospel, to the diggings that are assembled, to the congregation, we say good evening and may God bless you. Amen. Truly God is good and his mercy endureth to all generations. Without God, church, we can do nothing. For in him we live, we move and we have our state of being. He formed us, he made us, he created us. And the breath that we have in his nostrils comes from him. And so what can you do without God? Nothing. Paul says, all that I am is by the grace of God. Take away God's grace and you'd see nothing but a sinner, a wretch messed up from the floor. Amen. Church, we want to thank God tonight for his blessings, great and small, and for the power of God. Thank God for the 10 days of fasting and prayer. Thank God for the word of God coming forth that sanctifies. Amen. When you hear the word, that's Jesus knocking at the door of your mind. And it is left up to each and every one of us to open up and then let him in. As the song says, somebody's knocking and it must be Jesus. Why don't you let him come in? Somebody's knocking. 
and it must be Jesus. He said, now if you will open up the door, he says, I'll come in and I will sup with you. Amen. No greater supper, church, than to have a feast with Jesus. Amen. Thank God for all the life of Solomon and Shaw and his companion, two beautiful people whom God fixed up with his word one day. Yes. Sent him into the world and they preached and taught the gospel that men, women, boys, and girls should live a life free from sin. How to get out of sin and then what? Stay out. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. I thank God tonight for what he has done for me, how that he has blessed us, watched over, protected us, cared for us, touching our bodies, and then raising us up to be back in the midst once again, that we can praise his name and then hear what thus said the Lord. What a blessing. Church, you find me still saved tonight, sanctified, kept by the power of God, got one desire, one determination, and that is to press onward and then be a help to those that are come in contact with. Tonight I want to speak to you about afterward. Amen? Afterwards. Many a times you always think about, well, after this is over. When I am finished, after I've graduated, after I have been through the storm, but after you have suffered a while, then you might receive the promise. No one that has yet signed up for a job and got paid before they hit a lick. You got to suffer a while. You got to work your way through. Then after you have done the job, then you get the reward. Same thing with heaven. You're just not going to skate in. You're just not going to ease in. You're just not going to fly in. You're going to press your way in. And that pressing comes because there is an adversary, church, who is seeking whom he may devour. And so the elder has established in our midst the 10 days of fasting and prayer because the congregation needs to be sanctified. God is not going to take his Holy Spirit and put it in an unclean vessel. That's why he said, blow the trumpet where? In Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people. Why? Sanctify. Meaning you got to get cleaned up. And that clean up is from the top down. Amen. The highest part of the man is the brain. And that's why there's such a struggle for the control of your mind. Amen. Satan wants control, and God must have control if you expect to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Digging, if you will, congregation, turn with me to the book of Saint in Joel, the second chapter. <clears throat> and right there at the 28th verse, the Lord spoke through Joel and he says, and it shall come to pass. Amen. To pass when? Afterward. Amen. Not before, but afterward. After what? After you have been sanctified. Amen. Turn over to Colossians, third chapter. The Constitution, we were into this the other night. 
after you have been sanctified, during the course of the fast, we are taught that we are to put off certain things. In the third chapter, the eighth verse, he said, but now ye also do what? Put off all these. Put off all these. Not some of these, but all of these. The very first one is what? Anger. Anger. Right. Amen. That means being disturbed by something or someone. All right. Amen. Amen. Put it off, he says. Yeah. And then what? Wrath. Wrath is an elevated anger that stems to wanting to hurt someone. Amen. All right. How we doing? Yeah. You got a vendetta. Vindictive, you want to get back at because of what someone may have done. The Lord says, if your enemy hunger, do what? Feed him. That's it. If he thirsts, do what? Give, Give him drink. drink. And then there is malice. Yes. Amen? Amen. Malice is another elevated level of anger. And this word malice means that you have reached a level of such anger that you are intended to hurt somebody or see them suffer. All right. Come on now. How are we doing, church? That's serious. The Lord says, put it off. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it shall come to pass afterwards, after what? After you have been sanctified. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So listen, turn with me to the book of Hebrews. The 12th chapter. The Lord speaks about chastening. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's it. Whom he loved, he chastens. Yeah. Jesus said, behold, I stand at the door and lock. Him I love, I chasten and rebuke. Amen. Yeah, that's right. When our children, as parents, we are obligated to train up a child in the way that it what should, should go, go, not the way that it wants to go. That's right. And it is our responsibility as parents that we have to tag them every now and then. Yeah. And as ministers of the gospel and the pastor of the church, I have to tag you every now and then. All right. How we doing, church? Amen. See, because that's what gets your attention when you get tagged. Amen. All right. Yeah. Now watch this now. Wherefore, the first verse says, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us do what? Lay aside. Every Lay aside weight. what? Every weight. Every weight and the what? Sin. Sin that does so easily beset us. That's it. Amen. You've often heard me talk, watch out for people that sweat on top of their nose. Mm -hmm. You know, you see people getting mad, you know, and their, their nose, they, they be breathing so hard that their nose even be moving in and out. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. They're getting ready to hurt somebody. Amen. Yeah. Listen, read. <clears throat> and let us run with patience. And then let us run with patience, what? The race that is the set. The race that is set before church. We are striving to get to heaven. That's right. That's Amen. And it's an everyday warfare. That's right. Every day. Because the adversary is walking around seeking whom he may devour. That's right. In church, if you have decided to make Jesus your choice, Amen. stand by. All right. People wondering why they're having problems in their marriage. You decide to get married. That's what it is. And yeah. marriage is honorable, God says. And anything that is honorable, the devil is trying to mess it up. Yes, he is. Amen. But you have to make up your mind yeah, that yeah. you're going all the way. That's Regardless of the circumstances, mm -hmm. I'm going to do what God has commanded me to do as a husband and as a wife. Yeah. And as children within the marriage and in the household, parents realize this, that your actions are being watched by your children. All right. Amen. And you don't want to send your children the wrong message. Yeah, Amen. Amen. So listen, read. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto who? Jesus. Not this one, not right. that one, not yeah. him, not her, but 
looking unto Jesus who what? The author. The author and the and finisher of our faith. Yes. Read. Who for the joy that was set before who him. Who for the joy. When you think about heaven, church. Yeah, that's right. When you think about the benefit, you willing to suffer. Who yeah. for the joy that was set before him did what? Endured the he cross. He endured the cross. Amen. The cross means suffering, church. That's right. Amen. Amen. He endured the cross. When you think about the individual that had to wait seven years and seven years and seven years for this one wife. That he was promised to. And after he thought he got through that one and he was going to get it, hey amen, you got to wait a little while longer. Mm, come on now. Lord said, don't you cast away your confidence. That's right. That's the book. Which has great recompense of reward. Yeah. So after you have suffered a while, yeah. then you might receive might the promise. Receive the promise. Amen. amen. Listen, read. Despising the shame. Amen. For the cross. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame of the suffering of the cross, yeah. and is set down where? At the, At the right, right hand, hand of the throne of God. Woo. Can you imagine Amen. sitting there? You know, sometimes when I'm driving through traffic and whatnot, people like to come up and sit right on the front seat and watch me maneuver. Amen. That's right. Because I can do it so masterfully. Amen. All right. In and out of traffic and moving mm -hmm. here and there. And people just sit there and they marvel. God. God I remember one night going up to Blacksburg and they used to have played out in this old arena and the only way you could get in there was that you had to go down in the bottom down there and let the players out. Well, I pulled up there and I backed it all down in there. They said, look at this. And I stood up and said, now I've done my job, now y'all go do your job. That's right. Tell Amen. Them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Get to work. Can you imagine seated at the right hand of God? Yeah. Amen. Where he is working every day and his magnificence. Yeah. Yeah. And how God can do things when he delivers us. And how he delivers us. And how he rescues us from certain situations. It's a masterfully done job. Yeah, and here good. Jesus is. He's sitting right there watching all of this take place. Read. For consider him that, For consider him that do what? Such contradictions. Endured such contradictions of sinners against himself. You know, church, when you live right, there's always going to be somebody against you. That's right. Amen. And it's Amen. not the somebody. It's the devil that is working in that somebody. Learn to know who your enemy is. It's not the person, it's the devil in the person. That's Sadly, right. no one ever ought to have the devil working in them. That's right. Tell it. Especially if Jesus done came by. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Read. Amen. For consider him that For consider him that endured such contradictions of sinners against himself, lest what? Lest ye be weary and, and what? faint in your mind. Amen. If you don't think about Christ. That's right. When you're going through it all, when I was at Paris Island and they were running us through because it was a war time and they were trying to hurry up and get us through, they put 12 weeks of training into eight. Hmm. And they just push, 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 push all the time. Drive, drive, drive. And I used to look up in the sky and say, sky's going to be cloudy always. Yeah. The sun's going to shine again. That's right. One day, somehow, somewhere, it's going to shine again. Oh, I'm suffering right now. Yeah. But one day, one day, it'll all be over. Yeah. And lo and behold, it came to pass. Amen. Lord and afterwards, amen, I was a full-fledged 165-pound fighting machine. Amen. Right. Yeah. I was so fierce and devastating that I, I, they put me on three men. They started off in <laughs> Hugo fight. You beat one man, they put you on, two men on you. After two men, if you beat them, they put three on you. Amen. He put two on me, I whipped him. Put three on me, I whipped all three of them. <laughs> all right. Man. Amen. Church, the devil is ready. Yeah. But you want to know something? There's a God. That's right. Yeah. Who is greater in me yeah. than in he. Amen. Amen. Listen, read. 
You have not yet resisted unto blood. He said, you have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. I have not seen anyone yet put a thorny crown on your head. That's right. I've not seen anybody yet hung on a cross yeah. and speared in their side. Yeah. You have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, what? Despise not. Thou. Despise not the chastening of the Lord. No what? Faint when thou art rebuked of him. But I quit. You know, people love to say I quit. I, I just ain't gonna do it no more. All right. What happened to I, I can do all things? Yeah. Yeah, through like Christ, it. which strengthens me. Amen. Read. For whom the Lord for whom the Lord loveth, what will He do? He chasteneth and do what? And scourgeth every son. every son. I don't care who you are. You are going to get some correcting. That's right. That's right. Get it all the time. Amen. When I came up, Dad. Amen. And mom, oh yeah, they put a whooping on you. Yeah. And you know what? I have high respect for him today. Yeah. I never got mad when my dad said, I'm going to beat you up for whooping me. Oh no. Never had that reverence Amen. and respect. That's right. Amen. Amen. Listen to the seventh verse. If what? If you endure if you endure chastening, read. God dealeth with God you. is dealing with you as with what? Sons. Sons for whom the for what son yes. is he whom, whom the father chasteneth not? Have you ever seen a child that has never been corrected? That's right. Hmm. It's one thing I never like with small children. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. That's right. The Lord says, correct him. Yes. If you spare the rod, you're going to spoil him. That's the word. And what he's telling me as a minister, if you spare this word, you're going right. to spoil him. That's right. And God don't like no spoiled children, and neither do I. Amen. Amen. So I must give you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. If he gets you upset, amen. Good. Right. I'm glad you upset. Just hang in there. Amen. But listen to what it said. Read. If you endure chastening. But if you endure chastening, God what? Dealing with you. And He's with dealing son. with you. See, we deal with our children because we can see further than they can. That's right. Yeah. We see those little spirits. Mm -hmm. And so you have to deal with those spirits when you see those yeah. little spirits. Because what happens is those little spirits will grow up and be big spirits. Yeah. And when they get big spirit, they become hardened spirits. That's right. And you got something to deal with. Yeah. When they grow up in them. But when you deal with it while they were young. That's right. Hey Amen. You can get rid of that spirit. Yeah. Because they are soft, easy to be trained. That's right. Hey Amen. As he said, it's hard to teach an old dog new, new trick. <laughs> Amen. Even Jesus said, he that had drank old wine straightway don't desire new. He'll right. say the old is better. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now listen, read. For what son is he whom the For father what? chasteneth not? For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? What kind of person would he be? You see kids running all up and down the store, ripping and running. And now, Johnny, you need to stop that, Johnny. And Johnny just take right off and go on again. Yeah. And some of them just walk down the store and just grab boxes and just knock them in the floor and just laugh. Need to pick little Johnny up and <laughs> tag him a few times. Yeah. Amen. Tough love. Isn't that something? The Lord said, You spare the rock, mm -hmm. you're going to spoil the child. Right. Amen. Read. But if you be without chastisement. But if you be without chastisement, watch this now, and then what? Whereof all are partakers. Whereof all are partakers, read. Then are ye bastards. Then are ye bastards and not sons. Amen. Now, I didn't call you a bastard. It's in the book. That's right. Is it in the book? Amen. Amen. That's it. Read, brother. Furthermore, we have. Furthermore, had, what? We have had fathers. Of We've our had flesh. fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reference. What? Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirits? Amen. And you That's see, because God has the capability 
and the right that after death to cast your soul into hell. See now, what he's doing is he's trying to purge yeah. you That's right. and make you what? White yeah. as snow. Amen. He wants to get all of the little isms and schisms. You know, they talk about time. It's intensified. Amen. It gets way down into the nooks and the crooks where things hide at. Amen. This is the gospel. It says the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It goes right on down to the mouth. Even know the intents that's right. of your heart. Yeah, that's the book. Amen. Read again, brother. Furthermore, we've had what? Fathers of our flesh which corrected us. And what? And we gave them reverence. And we gave them reverence and what? Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits? And, and what? And live. Amen. See, everybody wants to live. Nobody wants to die. That's right. But what about life everlasting? Amen. Because there is an end to this physical life. And if you've not done anything to perfect your soul that it might live forever, it will burn in hell. That's right. How are we Amen. doing, church? Amen. Listen, read. For they verily for a few days chasten us. For they verily for a few days do what? Chasten us and what? After our, their own pleasure. After their own pleasure, but he for our what? Profit. Isn't that something? He's working on you for you. Yeah. That you might benefit from his chastening. Right? Yeah. That we might be That we might what? Be partakers. Be partakers of his what? Holiness. God ain't going to have no mess in his kingdom. That's right. Amen. 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 You know, yeah, people say, J -j -j I, I just like to get a hold of little Johnny just one time. All right. Hey, Amen. I just like to get a hold of him just one time. I would really, yeah, yeah what would you do? <laughs> Listen, read. Now. Now what? No chastening for the present. Now here it is, here it is, church. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but what? Grievous. Oh yeah, it, it ain't, I ain't never seen nobody yet being whipped, jumping up and down, saying hallelujah, Lord, thank you. Yeah. Oh no. Uh -uh. <laughs> Might think something wrong with him. Oh no. It's not no good time. But grievous. When you get, it's grievous. It makes you repent realistically. That's it. Amen. That's the goal. It makes you repent. Yeah. One sister had a little baby here, and she would act it up, and mama was going to get her. She said, mommy, I want an Oreo. She said, you're going to get an Oreo. <laughs> hey, man, you're going to get them, but mommy, I want an Oreo. I want an Oreo, mommy. No, you're going to get an Oreo. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Uh -huh. They always, they don't want that. Oh, no. <laughs> Mom used to tell us, go out there and get that switch off the tree. Mm. She said, don't bring me no small one either. Come on now. And when you see that switch, when you see it in her hand, amen, tears start to flow because you know you're going to get it. You know what it feels like because you done had it before. Amen. Have mercy. But we didn't die from it. Mm -mm. We didn't have to go to emergency care because of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It perfected us. Yeah. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be what? Joyous, joyous, but it is grievous. Now, here's the key, church. Nevertheless, what? Afterwards. Afterwards, what happens? It yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Woo! That's it. Amen. Afterwards. Yeah. Amen. Peaceable. Afterwards, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Read. Unto them which Unto are Unto them, exercised. watch this now. Which are exercised. Which allows the correcting and the yeah. chastening to do some benefit in their life. Yeah, thereby. Amen. Amen. It wakes you up. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that no more. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Like I told my dad, I ain't going to do it no more. He says, I know you ain't. <laughs> Amen. I know you ain't. When I get finished putting this whooping on you, you ain't going to do it no more. Didn't do it no more either. Dad, I'm not going to do it no more. I know you're not. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Thank God is. for being 
reared up according to the teachings. Yeah. Amen. In today's society, they don't believe in this. That's right. But God says, if you spare a rod, you're going to spoil a child. Amen. And that's the problem in this world today. There's too many spoiled children. Teachers have to deal with them every day in the schoolyard. If mama would have put something on them or daddy would stay home and put something on them, they wouldn't have these problems in the schoolyard today. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? Amen. Don't want to hurt his pride. Huh. Amen. Now, you don't want to hurt his pride, but you want to burn his bottom. Yeah. Right. Amen. <clears throat> I got mine when they were six months old. Six months. When he start bucking, <laughs> when he begin to buck authority, I bucked his bottom. Amen. You know how you put them in a chair and they don't want to sit in a chair, they want to squirm out. You set them in a chair and they stretch out, stretch out. I mean stretch right out. You trying to put him in a chair. He's stretching out. I pick his legs up. Bow! Eyes buck wide Shock. open the first time yeah. he get hit. Shock therapy. Amen. Shock treatment. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Then you put him in there again, he wants to stretch out, you reach out, hit him again. Bow! Break down and start crying. And you, when I put you in that chair, you sit in there. Yeah. You gonna learn. Then you don't have no more problem with it. That's right. Amen. You don't stop that. It ain't all the time jumping all the way down and beating them up and slapping yeah. them upside the wall and turning them upside right. down, shaking them and things. Uh-uh. All you gotta do is hit his bottom a couple of times. That's right. Tag his little legs. Amen. That's it. Ain't gonna hurt him, mama. Yeah. I know how y'all mamas feel. Amen. <laughs> Can't hit him. You better hit him. Amen. And then the, I can't stand to see a child hit the mama. What? Oh, no. Oh, oh don't man. you? Oh, no. Don't do that, please. Yes, they do it. But they do it. They, sure they do, do it. it. Fighting the parents. Amen. Mm -hmm. Strike some fear in them. Yeah. Isn't that something? Ha! Yeah. Ah. Woo! Wherefore, do what? Lift up the hands which hang down. Isn't that something? The Lord said, now, you don't get mad. That's right. Get glad yeah. about it. Yeah. Lift up the hands that hang down in the what? Feeble and knees. the feeble knees and do what? And make straight paths. Straighten up. Hey Amen. Straighten up. Read. Right. For your feet. For your feet and what? Lest that which is lame be turned Lest out. Lest that the way. which is lame be what? Turned Turn out of the way, but rather let it be what? Healed. Healed. Read. Follow peace with all men. Do what? Follow peace with all men. Follow peace with all men and what? Holiness. Holiness without which what? No man shall see the Lord. Thank you. Everybody believe the heard the truth? Amen. 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 It's tight, but it's right. Amen. 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 So may God bless you. Heaven will smile upon you. Let us continue to hold on, church. Hold out. Look up. But don't give up. And just remember, afterwards. Amen. That sound doctrine. When you get that sound doctrine, it may make you want to do right. Amen. Not on a part-time basis, but every day. Amen. So we thank God indeed for sound doctrine. Amen. Turn the service back over to the deacon. Thank you.